changing face of agile uh, first of all before that thanks for inviting me priyank main bahut khush hu ki aap log ek tech conference ki shuruaat ek spiritual speaker se karte hain um, and this is significant i don't know if you if you realize the significance of this or no but i'll try and share some pointers about the significance of this just before coming here a uh, few days ago i met a friend who's about 60 and he was sharing with me life bahut mushkil ho rahi hai mere liye and i said why and he said things are changing so fast and then he said first 30 years of my life sirf teen inventions aaye the mere jeevan mein mere ghar mein color television aaya mere ghar mein telephone line aayi और हमारे ब्लॉक में कार दिखी मुझे somebody bought a car but then the second set of 30 years of my life i'm just going mad because uh, first in my job they said ki use computers so i learned computers then they said now use internet so i started using internet instead of writing letters then they said you have to use a mobile phone to maine mobile phone le liya phir unhone kaha ek smartphone aa gaya to maine touch screen ka phone liya aur usko seekha and now everything is becoming voice enabled and i do i just can't cope up with it and in the meanwhile they also said there is a whole thing called social media and you cannot be off it kyunki agar aap social media se off ho you don't have an identity uh, aapke aadhar card se zyada zaruri hai to be on the social media so i'm finding it very very challenging to uh, cope up with all of this why i'm talking about this and giving you this short story because agile or the change that we are experiencing in the world is just not from the tech front geopolitical is changing very very fast economic conditions are changing extremely fast your value systems are changing very very fast you can't even imagine your lifestyles are changing extremely fast your health is changing very very fast your mental space is changing extremely fast and in this entire zone of ultra fastness and the Intensity of it is going to increase as we go along. अगले आने वाले कुछ वर्षों में इसकी intensity और बढ़ने वाली है. It will be very difficult for you to even relate with somebody who is just ten years younger to you. ये अगले पांच सात साल में ऐसा होने वाला है. सात आठ साल में ही generation gap जैसा दिखने लगेगा. आप उनकी भाषा नहीं समझ पाओगे. For an example, if you talk to any eighteen year old now, and I'm sure you have access to eighteen year olds. इट प्रॉब्लीज डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड वट दे टॉकिंग बाट वो कुछ आपस में बात कर रहे होंगे आपको कॉन्टेक्स भी समझ नहीं आएगा कि किस बारे में ये बात हो रही है फगेट अबाउट एनी थिंग एल्स यू जस्ट कॉन्ट इवन अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्टेक्सट एंड दे आर जस्ट नॉट टॉकिंग टेक्नोलॉजी टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑल काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स सो द पेस ऑफ दिस चेंज दैट वी आर एक्सपीरियंसिंग इन दिस करंट यू गा इज गोइंग टू बी एक्सट्रीमली फास्ट हाउ डू यू कीप पेस विद दिस हाउ मेनी बुक्स कैन यू रीड How many conferences can you attend? हम सब के अंदर एक फोमो जैसा डेवलप हो गया है आई टॉक टू लॉर ऑफ माई फ्रेंड्स इन द कॉपरेट हु आर ऑफ माई एज एंड आई एम फोर्टी सेवन और इस उम्र में विच इज नॉट टू ओल्ड एन एज द क्लासिक थिंग दैट आई हियर फ्रॉम दैम इज इट्स बिकमिंग हार्ड टू स्टे रेलिवेंट सो चैलेंज हो रहा है टू स्टे रेलिवेंट To me, that's not even a challenge because you know, you are very small. To stay impactful is a larger, larger thing, and then to keep evolving is the much larger thing. Us, we are not talking about that. We are just talking about to stay relevant. To stay relevant is 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 to stay okay now so what's really happening is that this entire change is happening outside of us in the tech space in the community space in the geopolitical space in the economic space all outside of us and then slowly it starts to impact our interiority there's a change which is happening outside but then slowly we absorb that change internally and our mindset also starts to change kabhi aapne dekha ki aap kisi bahut एक्टिव ओरिएंटेड जगह पे होते हो तो आपका थॉट प्रोसेस चेंज हो जाता है यू स्टार्ट टू थिंक रियली फास्ट हैव यू ऑब्जर्व दैट या हैव यू एवर ऑब्जर्व इफ यू आर एट अ वेरी क्वाइट काम पीसफुल स्पेस द मूवमेंट ऑफ योर थॉट्स एंड योर 
mind activity slows down have you ever observed that okay wonderful what's the relevance of this what we're talking about where do we get the ability to develop agility in ourselves where does it come from any thoughts let me repeat the question where do you get the capability or capacity to develop agility where does the capacity come from have you ever thought about this anybody your surroundings what else your circumstances oh your mindset calmness of the mind shabash what else to adapt to the new things your soul okay okay matching of the vibrational frequency yes sir fomo gives you the ability to be more agile okay 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 the need for a change interesting <laughs> sorry post motivation wonderful okay before i talk on this another question to you where do you get new thoughts and new ideas or new inspirations from nature okay your problems your surroundings okay what else what you're feeding to your mind okay circumstances self introspection wonderful mera question kya tha where do you get the new ideas from not copied ideas or inspired ideas there's a difference from kids inspired hai magar wo idea i said new ideas there's a difference so you're all in the largely in the tech domain there's a need to think new of course there's a space to get inspired from some something and then you know think but there's a need which we call creativity the original creativity is a newness where do you get the new thought or an idea from okay okay that's problem solving right okay let me give you an example here a story actually you all know about elon musk you are in the zone right you've all heard about elon musk right Do you know few years okay before that Tesla Motors is based on the battery the entire electric ecosystem is based on the battery do you know few years ago or Tesla ka pura IP unki battery mein hai that's the IP right do you know few years ago Elon Musk opened the IP of the battery you can go to the site of Tesla Motors get the battery design use the battery design if you want to make your own batteries the ip is open now revolutionary right ye thought kahan se aaya hoga elon musk ko kyunki ye to business critical composition hai it could have destroyed his business ye ajibo gareeb thought kahan se aaya hoga elon musk ko why did he do that He was confident. Shabash. Okay. Need to be unique. Okay. Okay. Excellent. मैं इसका background बता दूँ. So this is a factual thing. You can just go and read about it. There's a there's a festival in the U.S. called Burning Man Festival. How many of you have heard about it? I just saw four hands, guys. I just saw six hands now. Okay, so you've not heard about Burning Man Festival, most of you. FOMO, okay? <laughs> you must have FOMO. You must know about this. <laughs> okay, this is a festival in the U.S. where all kinds of people come together. Largely, it started as a tech community coming together in the middle of a desert, putting up a camp there in the middle of a desert. People like Elon Musk also participate in that festival, seven-day event. in that festival there is a lot of art there is a lot of creativity there is a lot of food there is a lot of selflessness you just buy the ticket and everything is free there 
somebody would put up the stall so let's say if priyank is a good cook priyank will just put up his stall and offer free food to the entire people jitna wo bana sakte hain wo burger bana ke bech rahe honge not bech rahe honge free mein baant rahe honge if somebody is a good uh, brewer to wo wahan pe ek beer ka stall laga ke apni fresh beer bana ke wo sab ko share kar raha hoga no monetary exchange of anything it's a whole process of the community was to share then they were using a lot of creative crazy creativity दे क्रिएटेड अ प्लेस वे यू कैन जस्ट एक्सप्रेस योर सेल्फ आप जैसे भी अपने आप को एक्सप्रेस करना चाहते हो उस प्लेस में कोई आपको जज नहीं करेगा यू आर फ्री टू एक्सपेरिमेंट यू आर फ्री टू एक्सप्रेस योर सेल्फ द वे यू वॉन्ट टू इट्स अ ग्रेट कॉकटेल ऑफ इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग्स एंड प्रियांक मै कीप अ मेंटल नोट ऑफ दिस विल टॉक अबाउट दिस लेटर नाउ डूइंग ऑल ऑफ दिस वट वॉज द उद्देश्य हर चीज का एक उद्देश्य होता है the uddeshya the purpose of doing all of this was to put all the people there into a mental zone called the flow in sabhi experiments aur anubhav ke tarike wo sabhi logon ko ek aise mental zone mein leke jana chahte the jahan aapki inhibitions aapki insecurities aapke conditioned thoughts khatam ho jaye and your mind becomes silent and in that silent mind the new ideas come and in that silent mind elon musk ko ye idea aaya ki agar electric vehicle ko global good ke liye expand karna hai to iska ip main nahi rakh sakta this ecosystem needs to be expanded earlier he was thinking as a fearful businessman jo bol raha hai ki mujhe insecurity hai main apna ip kisi ko de nahi sakta fearful businessman but then after going to the burning man festival his mind expanded he stopped thinking chota he started thinking big and he said agar mere business ko bhi expand hona hai to pura ecosystem ko expand hona hoga the whole world has to move towards electric cars if i have to make money and for that batteries that's the key so i must open the ip of the batteries both disagree hua but eventually the the analysis says that tesla made big money after that event they started making more money their car sales went up etc etc this i call the new thought not an inspired thought kyunki ye hua nahi tha kabhi this is not a copied thought this is a new thought and where did this thought come from when elon musk experienced a silent state of mind when elon musk's mind was quiet when all the insecurities and the fomos and inhibitions was gone the mind started suddenly started looking at the bigger picture the cosmic picture the global picture or the planetary picture and from there the new idea emerged which changed the history of what tesla you see today and this festival happens i, I if i'm not wrong every 4 years or something in the us go read about it why are we talking about this <laughs> because externally the change will keep happening and as i said the pace of the movement will keep increasing every day bahar ke change se deal karne ke liye if you're not still inside you cannot deal with it you'll get burned out ha ye shabd suna hoga aapne hum bahut kaam karte hain then we get burned out offices mein bahut sara pressure hai teams ka bahut sara pressure hai investor ka bahut sara pressure hai क्लाइंट का बहुत सारा प्रेशर है एंड वी फील बर्न आउट इट्स नॉट अनकॉमन टू हियर नाउ फोर्टी ईयर्स ओल्ड एक्सपीरियंसिंग ऑल काइंड ऑफ लाइफ स्टाइल और स्ट्रेस रिलेटेड डिसीज इज नॉट अनकॉमन सो वट्स रियली हैपनिंग इन आर ईगरनेस टू अडॉप्ट टू द चेंज वी आर कॉन्स्टेंटली रनिंग वी कॉन्स्टेंटली ट्राइंग टू ग्रैब समथिंग वी कॉन्स्टेंटली ट्राइंग टू ग्रैब न्यू नॉलेज ये भी पढ़ लेते हैं वो भी कर लेते हैं उसको भी पढ़ लेते हैं इसका पोस्ट भी पढ़ लेते हैं ये नई टेक्नोलॉजी की रिसर्च भी पढ़ लेते हैं एंड देन यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड योर माइंड इज गेटिंग कॉन्स्टेंटली ओवरलोडेड एंड इन दैट ओवरलोडेड स्पेस ऑफ द माइंड न्यू आइडियाज विल स्टॉप कमिंग योर इनोवेशन योर क्रिएटिविटी विल बी डेड एंड दैट यूजली हैपन्स आप अगर बीस साल एक ही तरह का काम करते रहते हो तो आपकी क्रिएटिविटी खत्म हो जाती है ऑब्जर्व दैट इन यूअर लाइफ और अराउंड योर टीम्स If you continue to do same thing or the same, let's say, 
I'm a management consultant or let's say I'm an IT consultant. If I continue to do only that for 20 years, my newness, my creativity will be dead. Why? Two things are happening. One, I'm not giving chance to my mind to expand. Number two, I'm not giving the chance to my mind to remain in a space called silence. Whenever everything is moving outside too fast, your internal sthiti, which I call your center being, needs to be extremely still. You can only cope up with the change if you're still inside. If you're not still inside, then both things are running away. The world is running away, the world is running away, and the result is burnout. Do you agree with me? Are we together so far? If the world outside is running too fast, you need to slow down. <laughs> To be able to absorb, to be able to assess, to be able to create your own strategy and then implement that. Now my question back to you. Are you giving yourself this mental pause? I just see two hands. Three, four hands. <laughs> okay, tough question after this. How are you giving yourself this mental pause? Hello? <laughs> Okay. Meditation. What else? Shabash. Okay. So, aaj main meditation ki baat nahi karunga, huh? because I want to challenge your assumptions. When you looked at me as a long beard man, you thought I'm going to talk about meditation. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about meditation. Huh? This is quite challenging your preconceived notions. This <laughs> 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 English shabd mujhe bada acha lagta hai. Usko kehte hai iconoclast. Anyways, we've told over and over again that in order to achieve this pause of the mind or silencing of the mind, you need to practice meditation, which I agree. But thoda cliche ho chuka hai wo. So, today we do something else for There are three things. If you can implement or structure these three things in your life, if you can gain clarity about these three things in your life, this FOMO, this, this, what is it called? Your internal struggle hai aapke to catch up, to stay relevant, etc., etc. This all will go away. Three principles for that. I thought I'll share these three principles with you, ye aapke jeevan ko bhoat transform kar sakte hai if you pay attention to this. Okay? The first principle. Jiska hindi ka shabd hai uddeshya, angrezi ka shabd hai purpose. Are you clear about your purpose in life? Original, not borrowed, not conditioned. Original purpose of your life. Are you clear about that? Howard uh, make research हुआ बड़ा अद्भुत उस रिसर्च में ये पाया कि 90% लोगों का कोई जिंदगी में पर्पस नहीं होता माने दे डोंट नो व्हाट देयर पर्पस इन लाइफ देयर लाइफ्स आर एक्सीडेंटल यहां नौकरी मिल गई तो यहां कर लिया uh, फिर वहां बात नहीं बनी तो वहां नौकरी मिली तो वहां कर लिया एंड लाइफ बेसिकली बिकम्स एक्सीडेंटल 90% ऑफ द पीपल दे सेड द रिसर्च ऑफ द हार्वर्ड सेज डू नॉट हैव एनी पर्पस इन देयर लाइफ नंबर 1 नंबर 2 दे सेड द रिसर्च सेज जिन 10% परसेंट लोगों का पर्पज ऑफ लाइफ होता है दे डोंट डू एनी थिंग टू इम्प्लीमेंट दैट दे जस्ट थिंक दे हैव अ पर्पज बट दे डोंट पुट इट इन टू एक्शन वट्स द रेलेवेंस ऑफ दिस नाउ वट्स द रेलेवेंस ऑफ हैविंग अ पर्पज हैव यू एवर सीन वेन एवर यू हैव अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग पर्पज इन लाइफ फॉर एनी थिंग योर मेंटल स्ट्रेटिस आर मच लो Your distractions are much low. Your things that disturbs you are much low because you're very, very clear about what you need to do in your life. Okay, question back to you. How many of you think you have a purpose in life? Well, three hands, four, five probably. When I'm asking this question to you, that how many of you think you have purpose in life? आप शायद 
अपने करियर के पर्पज की बात कर रहे होंगे आप शायद ओके लेट मी आस्क यू जिन जिन मित्रों ने भी हाथ उठाया कैन यू शेयर वट्स यूर पर्पज इन लाइफ If you said you're clear about your purpose in life, what's the purpose? Yes, ma'am. Correct. Shabash. Excellent. Excellent. What else? Shabash. Very good. Now, if you see, you need to categorize your purpose into two, three different layers. One is you need to have a holistic purpose of your life. What is the holistic purpose of your life? The holistic purpose of your life cannot be to keep everybody happy. Not debating. That's a good purpose, but that cannot be the purpose for which you've taken birth. कुछ तो और भी होगा, right? So that that's what I call the holistic purpose of your life. Then the second layer. from there your entire life planning must draw the choice of your career the choice of your lifestyle the choice of your you know um the kind of job that you do the kind of business that you want to form the way you want to spend your time must all come from this larger purpose of your life so the purpose of life and then the purpose of your career purpose of your work etc etc ek badi interesting ghatna hui because i i keep uh, meeting a lot of uh, very senior business people also so i asked a business friend the very i will not name uh, a very senior uh, business person in ncr and I asked, what's the what's the purpose of your business forget about life aapke business ka kya purpose hai why are you doing this and you know what the answer he gave me to stay ahead of the competition ab ye aap logon ko bahut logon ko relevant lag raha hoga ha theek to isme kya problem hai right can that be the purpose of a business to stay ahead of the competition ye to so basically you are saying i'm in a rat race main hamesha struggle karta rahunga rat race mein rahunga so that i'm ahead of the competition is that the purpose of business okay thoda sa shift karte hain how many of you are entrepreneur or want to be entrepreneurs <laughs> Okay, excellent. What's the purpose of business? Anybody? To solve a problem, to make a profit. What else? To understand people's problem. Shabash. To support the society, to make an impact. Yes. Basically, the purpose of a business is to enrich life by either finding a solution, creating an impact. or doing whatever you need to do but to enhance the experience of life is that the purpose of us is right ab ye bahut the senior business person if he is saying the purpose of my business is to stay ahead of the competition aap is vyakti ke thought ko kis category mein daloge pure stupid influenced not clear there could be many adjectives right <laughs> but surely this cannot be the purpose of life why i am talking about this ex- example because if that is what you make as a purpose of your life or purpose of your business then you will be chasing that alone so if you select the right if you select the wrong purpose then your life is spent in pursuing the wrong purpose and then what you get is the wrong result of the wrong purpose are we together okay do you think you should have a purpose in life <laughs> should your purpose be like this that i want to be ahead of the competition <laughs> think about this so today my purpose is my purpose is today in this moment is to incept a few thoughts in you not to make this uh, conversation very very uh, exciting for you like a charming speaker i can do that as well you know i'm quite capable of doing that also but that's not the purpose today for some reason for some reason the purpose today is to incept a few thoughts so that you think about this because this is about your life and what you do in your life with your life is going to impact a lot of people around it's very very important that you are sorted people in this community of agile it's very very important that you're all sorted people you're very clear about 
where do you want to or how do you want to design your life so that's the first principle i thought i'll share with you are we together huh? we'll have a question answer also after this yeah the second most important thing again now we are entering into critical stage 2 is something called ekagrata what's the hindi english for ekagrata shabash focus before i talk about this quick quiz on a scale to on 0 to 10 10 being the highest 0 being the lowest rate yourself on focus yes roma वन ये तो लोअर्ट की तरफ जा रहे हो ओके नो लेक पुलिंग यू कैन यू आर ऑथराइज टू स्पीक अबाउट यू आर नॉट फॉर दी अदर ओके रेट योर सेल्फ एनी बडी बी यू अ वॉलेंटियर हेयर जीरो टू टेन टेन बींग द हाइएस्ट यस सर फाइव टू फाइव यस मैम अरे बाप रे यस मैम Five, five, five. Hmm. Do you see a problem here? <laughs> Do you see a problem in your own life when you have a focus of one, two, minus one, and fives? <laughs> Shabash, that's a good thing. Now, what's the relevance? If you do not develop a sharp focus in your life, two things or couple of things will happen. First of all, जो भी आप purpose decide करोगे अपने जीवन में, अपने career में, अपने personal life में, you will never be able to achieve that. It will always be a pursuit. It will never become an realization or actualization, right? एक film आई थी pursuit of happiness. मैं उसके title से इत्तफाक नहीं रखता. Happiness is not a pursuit. You don't have to pursue it. You have to live it, right? you don't pursue it it's like postponing happiness i can be happy now but i'll pursue it you know tomorrow <laughs> so the title is wrong similarly if you don't have this sharp focus you will your purpose will always be a pursuit and never it will never become an actualized reality so that's number one that's one loss of not having the focus the other thing you will never be at peace us peace ke liye phir aapko ya to sleeping pills leni padengi ya sham ko do drink lene padenge ya kuch bhi aisa karna padega why because when you don't have a focus your mind is totally distracted and in 20000 things at the same time it's called overload of the mental faculty iska ek chhota sa test batata hu aapko ab kabhi karna किसी टाइम जब आप ऑफिस में होते हो काम के में एकदम व्यस्त होते हो जस्ट टच योर फोर हेड हेयर एंड यू फाइंड इट वेरी वेरी वार्म एक्चुअली हॉट या एंड इट्स नॉट गुड फॉर द हेड टू बी हॉट इट्स एक्चुअली डेंजरस बट बिकॉज द मशीनरी इज सो ओवरलोडेड विद योर कॉन्स्टेंट डिस्ट्रैक्शन एंड योर कॉन्स्टेंट अटेंशन इज फ्लोइंग इन टू ट्वेंटी थिंग्स एट द सेम टाइम यू कॉल इट वॉट यू नो मल्टी right and you feel proud of being a multitasker okay quiz aap mein se kin logon ko lagta hai ki aap aap multitask kar rahe hain aur aap acche multitask kar rahe hain aur multitasker hona acha hota hai how many of you okay <laughs> okay it's a big myth it's a myth huh? let me reveal it to you today human mind is not capable of multitasking period it's a myth when you try and do multitasking what you're really doing is you you're loading your system beyond its capacity and the system starts to shut down for the wrong jo maine aapko bola na 20 saal ek hi kaam karte raho to aapka mind shut down mode mein chala jata hai the creativity is lost your new ideas are lost that's what happens what you think is multitasking is basically originating from fomo you think you have lack of time and you want to do too many things because the world is moving too fast and you need to accomplish all of this and you try and do multitasking isme se kuch bhi nahi ho pata theek se now what you can do as a multitasking is a ek aisa kaam jisme mind ki zarurat nahi hai your system is automatic doing that so for example driving a car now or walking in the garden your system knows how to do that 
उसको सेल्फ ट्यूनिंग मोड में है वो इट्स लाइक सेल्फ ड्राइव ड्रिवन कार यू कैन ड्राइव द कार एंड लिसन टू द म्यूजिक एंड हैव अ कन्वर्सेशन पैरेलली पॉसिबल बट दैट्स नॉट मल्टीटास्किंग टेक्निकली जिस चीज को आप मल्टीटास्किंग बोलते हो आप छह सात चीजें एक साथ मेंटली करने की कोशिश करते हो इसका एक एक्सपेरिमेंट करना जस्ट टू प्रूव दिस पॉइंट सिट इन द मिडल चेयर हैव टू फ्रेंड्स सिट लेफ्ट एंड राइट एंड उन दोनों को बोलो दो अलग अलग विषयों पर आपसे बात करें और आप उन दोनों को सुन के कॉम्प्रीहेंड करने की कोशिश करो दोनों बातों को यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू डू दैट वाई बिकॉज टू कॉम्प्रीहेंड समथिंग यू माइंड इट्स टू बी फोकस्ड एंड नाउ योर माइंड इज वन सेकेंड फोकस्ड एयर वन सेकेंड फोकस्ड एयर वन सेकेंड फोकस्ड एयर वन सेकेंड एंड इट लूज इज बोथ द थिंग्स एंड शाबाश इट एंटर्स इन टू अ मोड कॉल कन्फ्यूजन एंड वट इज कन्फ्यूजन बाय द वे हेलो वट इज कन्फ्यूजन अ स्टेट ऑफ द माइंड वेयर द थॉट प्रोसेस इज क्लाउडेड सब क्लाउडेड हो गया यू नॉट एबल टू सी थ्रू क्लियरली दट्स कॉल कन्फ्यूजन राइट सो एक्चुअली वेन यू ट्राइंग टू डू मल्टी टास्किंग यू आर मेकिंग यूर माइंड मोर कन्फ्यूज देन एवर बिफोर एंड यू आर लूजिंग योर कैपेसिटी टू फोकस ऑल द मोर डू यू सी द को रिलेशन हेयर आर वी टूगेदर सो फार ओके अभी एक रिसेंट बड़ा इंटरेस्टिंग इंडिया पाकिस्तान का मैच हुआ था You watched that? No? Okay, wonderful. Twenty-eight for eight. You remember that? Kohli. Did you look into Kohli's posture and eyes at that moment? He was confident. And what else? Shabash. In that moment, this gentleman was totally focused. Nothing could distract him. Nothing. Even the possible loss of the game could not distract him. He was absolutely focused, and with that focus, what he achieved, we all know that. And your score of focus is <laughs> two one fives. With this, you think you'll be able to achieve anything great in life? Yes, you can live a mediocre life for sure with this level of focus, but you cannot achieve anything great in life. both as an outer achievement and both as inner achievement of shanti of ananda of happiness you cannot achieve that even to be a yogi or a meditator you need a very strong focus okay quickly is pe baat karte hain how do you develop focus okay now before that a question do you want to go towards 10 or no okay how do you develop focus I'll just share two quick things on that. One, remove or lessen your distractions as much as possible. Simple sutra for that is, आपके मोबाइल में जितने भी एप्स हैं सबके नोटिफिकेशंस बंद कर दो. Simple, quick tip. Close all the notifications. Yeah, you watch your Insta or YouTube or whatever when you want to, not when the ting happens. Yeah, don't be, be don't become the slave of the ting. Today's generation, or all of us are becoming slave of the ting. Uh, so, we Britishers to chale gaye, but we become now slave to the ting. Yeah. So, don't enter into that slavery. So, remove all the notifications. So, that's number one. Number two, a research was very good. Interesting research was. Stanford or Harvard, me se kisi ne kiya ye research, and this is a very significant research because they did it for over thirty years, long period. What they did was. उन्होंने दो क्लासरूम सेलेक्ट किए और छोटे बच्चों को उस क्लासरूम में लेके गए और एक क्लास और और टेबल के ऊपर कुछ चॉकलेट्स रखे और बच्चे को बोला कि तुम ये चॉकलेट मत खाना जब तक मैं रूम से नहीं आऊं एंड देन दिस मैन वॉक आउट ऑफ द रूम एंड अ कैमरा इज लुकिंग फ्रॉम द यू नो सो बड़ा फनी था वो बच्चों को देखना वो जाएगा So now, what was happening that they were really tempted by the chocolate? Of course, no rocket science in that. But there were two sets of children. One was the child who went to the chocolate shop to stop himself from getting caught. And the other was the child who went to the chocolate shop to stop himself from getting caught. So the second set of children, they actually looked here and there, found nobody around. They just picked up the chocolate and ate. Actually, looked here and there, found nobody around. They just picked up the chocolate and ate. 
because nobody is looking at it. So yeah, there's two sets of children. Now, what the research did for over next thirty years, they tracked the life of these children. Bingo. What really happened? Jin bachcho me shramta thi to postpone the fulfillment of desire, or to say no to the temptation. They became really successful in life. Or jo bachcho me ye shramta nahi develop ho pai for some reason. they became losers of life they didn't do they couldn't do anything great in life they led a mediocre life what's the lesson here yes and self control and focus is very deeply related that's the reason i'm narrating this research if you don't have self control you cannot be focused आप किसी चीज में फोकस करना चाह रहे हो थिंग विल डिस्टर्ब यू और दी अनदर थॉट विल डिस्टर्ब यू एनीथिंग कैन कम एंड डिस्टर्ब यू सो द वे टू डेवलप फोकस इज टू डेवलप सेल्फ कंट्रोल नाउ अगेन ऑन अ स्केल ऑफ जीरो टू टेन टेन बींग हाइस्ट ऑन सेल्फ कंट्रोल जिसका योगिक शब्द होता है सेल्फ रेस्ट्रेंट राइट योर सेल्फ टेन बींग हाइस्ट जीरो बींग लोएस्ट राइट योर सेल्फ ऑन सेल्फ रेस्ट्रेंट यस सर राइट यूर सेल्फ एट शाबाश Oh, Shabash. Seven, Shabash. Six, seven, seven. Okay. What I want you to do when tonight you get time, reflect on this. If you are high on self restraint and low on focus, there is a problem. Because this correlation will be always there. If you are high on self restraint and low on focus, there is a problem. Usually. If you're high on self-restraint, you'll be high on focus also, because to have this self-restraint, you need to have a focus. Focus for what? So, in child wale case, me, you know what these children did? Jino ne self-restraint develop kia. They stopped looking at the chocolate. They they managed their focus where they were not looking at the chocolate anymore. They started looking at other direction, as if the chocolate does not exist, because they knew <laughs> if they focus on the chocolate, their temptation will be increased. so they applied self restraint and focused on something else yeah another sutra here sutra is a uh, take away another sutra here whatever you focus in life starts to grow period ye zindagi mein bahut kaam aane wala aapke if you make a note of this whatever you focus in your life starts to grow example aapke kuch aise रिश्तेदार होंगे थोड़े वृद्ध जो हर बार बस आपके मिलते ही मिलते ही बोलते होंगे बड़ी दर्द है बड़ी दर्द है बड़ी दर्द है बड़ी तकलीफ है बड़ी तकलीफ है <laughs> और आप सालों साल देखते हो उनके दर्द और तकलीफ खत्म नहीं होते कभी बिकॉज एर फोकसिंग ऑन दैट जस्ट टू मच फोकस इज एन एनर्जी यू नो वेन आई एम फोकसिंग ऑन समथिंग आई एम पोरिंग ऑल माई एनर्जी देयर वेर एवर आई पोर माई एनर्जी दैट थिंग स्टार्ट टू ग्रो देर बीन एक्सपेरिमेंट्स डन If you have a plant in your in your room, every morning you go to the plant, you nurture the plant, you focus the plant, and say, "You are awesome." The growth of the plant is increased. What is really happening? Plant cannot know your language, but what's really is happening? You call it positive vibe or energy, but actually you are giving focus to the plant. You are giving a part of your energy, your attention to the plant. Or, I have said what sutra? जिस चीज को भी आप फोकस दोगे एनर्जी दोगे इट स्टार्ट टू ग्रो नाउ टुनाइट डू अ लिटिल चिंतन ऑन दिस व्हाट इज इट दैट यू फोकस इन योर लाइफ मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम योर प्रॉब्लम्स योर कंपटीशन योर इश्यूज योर फेलियर्स और योर एबिलिटीज योर कैपेसिटीज थिंग्स दैट यू नीड टू डू राइट इन योर लाइफ एक्सेट्रा आई पाक इट देयर सो दैट्स नंबर टू नंबर थ्री विच इज ऑल्सो very very important if you can build this into your life nobody can stop you from achieving what you want to achieve is in hindi a shabd called utsah and in english it's called exuberance not excitement there's a difference it's called exuberance excitement or exuberance mein antar ye hota hai excitement is short lived it comes goes exuberance is your state of being kuch logon se aap milte ho jo हमेशा एकदम मस्त मौला रहते हैं देर ऑलवेज इन इन डूइंग मोड आई कैन डू दिस काइंड ऑफ अ थिंग जॉली 
हम उनको गो गेटर्स भी बोल सकते हैं वी कैन कॉल दम एनी थिंग बट इट वेरी एग्जूबरेंट पीपल यू वॉन्ट टू बी विद मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम राइट एंड दे अचीव वट एवर दे वॉन्ट टू वो कुछ भी करते हैं दे यूजली अचीवर्स इन लाइफ सो दैट्स अ थर्ड प्रिंसिपल ऑफ डेवलपिंग दिस इनर सेंस और इनर क्वालिटी ऑफ बींग इन द उत्साहित मोड मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम टू कीप योर उत्साह लाइफ टू कीप योर एग्जूबरेंस अ लाइफ बिकॉज वेन समटाइम आई विजिट ऑफिसेस कॉपरेट ऑफिसेस पीपल एंड द फेसिस मैं डर जाता हूँ वो देख के वो इतने उदास चेहरे होते हैं वो इतने दुखी चेहरे होते हैं वो इतने थके हुए चेहरे होते हैं वो इतने बोर चेहरे होते हैं एज इफ जिंदगी में कुछ नहीं रखा अब वट्स रॉन्ग वट्स द प्रॉब्लम वट वाई यू मेकिंग फर्स ऑफ लाइफ वेयर इज एग्जूबरेंस एंड विदाउट एग्जूबरेंस वट एवर यू अचीव वो डू हैज नो वैल्यू सो दैट्स द थर्ड प्रिंसिपल ऑफ लाइफ जीरो टू टेन स्केल अगेन टेन थिंग द हाइएस्ट रेट योर सेल्फ ऑन एग्जूबरेंस फ्रेंड्स ये सर नाइन शबाश एट वेरी गुड फाइव फाइव सिक्स तो आप कंफ्यूज मत होना एक्साइटमेंट और एक्सुबरेंस में एज आई सेड एक्साइटमेंट इज योर कलीग केम एंड सेड गुड थिंग्स अबाउट यू एंड यूर रियली हैप्पी इट इट्स जस्ट शॉर्ट अप योगिक टर्मिनोलॉजी में एक्साइटमेंट को ज्वर कहते हैं ज्वर का मतलब होता है फीवर इट कम्स एंड गोज उत्साह को ज्वर नहीं बोलते वो शब्द हमने अलग चुना उसके लिए उत्साह उत्साह में वेरिएशन नहीं होते यस यू कैड हैव अ लो मोड समाइम दैट्स अ डिफरेंट थिंग बट उत्साह में वेरिएशन नहीं होगा यू जनरली इन अलाइव मोड या सो बी वेरी वेरी क्लियर अबाउट दैट या अगेन जीरो टू टेन टेन बींग दी हाइएस्ट सिक्स एट फाइव एट शोमश सिक्स सो इंटरेस्टिंगली इफ यू सी इन दिस क्राउड उत्साह पे रेटिंग सबसे ज्यादा आया मे बी दैट्स द रीजन You are here in this hall in a volunteering setup. Are you seeing the connection? Your utsah will make you do things which people don't do. वो लोग सो रहे हैं अभी नौ बजे दस बजे हाँ Saturday morning को. But your utsah has enabled you to take this step in life, to meet fellow utsahi people, and learn from each other. That's what utsah does. Utsah does. It will put you always ahead in the game. You don't need to have FOMO to inspire you. You just develop this capacity of utsah. आप competition formo को भूल जाके अपने भीतर अगर उत्साह को पैदा कर लोगे bingo. Yeah, you've done it. So with that, I'll end my discussion here. If there are any questions, I'll be happy to take them. And questions could be any sorts. Yeah. And one uh, condition: when you ask the question, nobody should take a judgment out of it. Yeah, that's a condition. Okay. Now, with that, you please ask the question. Yes, sir. Correct. Correct. This is very interesting. If you start from the top, which is purpose, and integrate all three, so they. ये तीनों एक दूसरे के पूरक हैं पूरक का मतलब होता है दे हेल्प इच अदर सो दे डीपली कॉम्प्लीमेंट इच अदर एंड दे को रिलेट विद इच अदर इट विल बी वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू टू हैव वन एंड नॉट डेवलप द अदर सो लेट्स इफ यू हैव एन उत्साह बट नॉट द पर्पज फेयर एनफ ये हो सकता है बट देन योर कपैसिटी टू हैव द पर्पज इंक्रीजेज राइट सो वन सपोर्ट्स द अदर या सो इन दैट सेंस दे आर ऑल कॉम्प्लीमेंटिंग इच अदर ये सर So you spoke in detail about how um, we can have, we can increase our focus in life. Right. Can you talk a bit about how we can increase or enhance our enthusiasm, our yeah. exuberance, as you put it? Yeah. Yeah. ये थोड़ा सा गहरा है इसलिए मैंने इसके बारे में डीप में बात नहीं की थी थोड़ा सा गहरा विषय है but just to kind of try and uh, एक story सुनाता हूँ शायद आपको इसका answer मिल जाए हाँ based on the story. Once there was a building like this, and there was a roof this big, and there were uh, two lizards on the roof. Lizard, ऐसा चलता है ना roof पे. और बगल में 
साथ वाली छत के पास एक पार्टी हो रही है लिजर्ट्स की पार्टी सो लिजर्ट वन आस द लिजर्ट नंबर टू लेट्स गो टू द पार्टी ऑल फ्रेंड्स आर देर लेट्स जस्ट एंजॉय गो टू द पार्टी बट लिजर्ट टू से नो आई कैनॉट गो शी आस वाई यू कैन गो आई एम होल्डिंग द रूफ इफ आई गो हु विल होल्ड द रूफ द रूफ विल को लैब्स डू यू फॉलो वट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से we take things way too seriously we think as if we are controlling everything on this earth in our office we think we are controlling everything if i disappear the whole system will crash most of us have that notion including the pn of an office and i i speak to all kinds of people even this is a funny incident i was at a government office <laughs> to uh, meet a very uh, senior bureaucrat and uh, there were five so i usually reach early so i was five minutes early so i just sat outside the office and started talking to the peon interesting guy and he said sir aapko pata hai ki mere bina is office mein ek file bhi nahi chal move hoti hai pichle 20 saal mein maine ek bhi chutti nahi li hai kyunki agar main chala jaau yahan se to yahan sari filon ka sab kaam vyavastha sari ruk jayegi he was saying the whole government will basically collapse if i don't come to the office <laughs> I said, okay, मतलब बड़ी शिद्दत से आप काम करते हो मतलब वट एल्स गुड आई स्पीक बट दैट्स हाउ वी थिंक अबाउट लाइफ वी ऑल बिकम लाइक दैट लिजर्ट हु थिंग्स शी इज होल्डिंग द रूफ एंड वी बिकम अल्ट्रा सीरियस इन वट एवर वी आर ट्राइंग टू डू इन लाइफ एंड दैट इज वट किल्स द एक्सुबरेंस सीरियसनेस इज एब्सोल्यूटली ऑपोजिट टू एक्सुबरेंस सो आई थिंक इन एवरी लाइफ सिचुएशन इफ यू कैन ब्रिंग लिटल बोट मोर maverickness little bit of more playfulness little bit of more non seriousness little bit of more non formality life will become much smooth smooth sail and the exuberance question will start to rise yeah again to give you another quick example here i was sitting there this is the first time i'm actually speaking while standing i never do that i could become very serious about it no no i have to sit and speak <laughs> no no but what is more important to me is my exuberance <laughs> and samay kala time yeah so if i have to change a few things let's change that how does it matter yeah i hope you got the answer thank you piche lete hain yes ma'am yes ma'am you yeah ma'am i have two questions one from the example that you gave acha <laughs> uh you talked about that peon right i talked uh, about sorry that peon right. uh in that government office so right. it's called accountability as well Correct. sometimes Correct. right uh, when you have become very carefree about your Correct. work you lose accountability Correct. which means you are not being honest about your I'm work i'm glad yes. so how do you answer that because <laughs> there is a very thin line between these two correct correct do angrezi ke shabd hain carefree and careless aur dono mein antar hai somebody who will have a lot of exuberance will be carefree but not careless wo apna kaam karega jo bhi uski responsibility hai wo nibhayega and nibhayegi but after that or even during that this person will be in a exuberant mode or ek hota careless huh? this person is basically non focused usko pata hi nahi hai usko kisi cheez ka sense of responsibility hi nahi carry kar raha wo vyakti there is a difference yeah so this example of a peon we all have a certain role and responsibility in life and we all fulfill that but to think like a lizard that mere bina ye system ye office collapse ho jayega is sheer stupidity or sheer pouring unnecessary energy into expanding your sense of you know uh, egoness let's say right and that creates a problem right so th- there is no issue with the sense of responsibility we are talking about we are talking about it absolutely different dimension here yeah it's like again saying आप अपने वर्क स्पेसिस में देखना दो तरह के लोग देखेंगे आपको यूजली दोनों के पास उनके बॉस ने सेम काम दिया है एक व्यक्ति हंसना भूल गया उस काम के चलते और एक व्यक्ति मजे से वो काम कर रहा है बोथ आर डिलीवरिंग विद द सेंस ऑफ रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी सो दैट द डिफरेंस थैंक्स लॉट सेकेंड क्वेश्चन वॉज रिगार्डिंग द मल्टी टास्किंग राइट so if you'll see many times you have back to back meetings Correct. right you have to switch your focus from one Correct. to another and i'm talking about a very practical problem Correct. here in the offices mm. and then you manage being a woman you uh, being a mother you manage your personal and uh, office fronts both so there is a need to multitask mm. so how do you overcome that or i don't know what to do <laughs> about it okay so again to give you a practical example 
It's about 10.37 right now. How much time we have, uh, somebody? Okay, so we have, uh, let's say, 10.35 right now, for an example. I have a flight to catch. I'm going to show story Before that, I have a call with some uh, film producers in Bombay because we're producing a show. Uh, and before that, I have two meetings lined up. Yeah. I'm hungry. Now, where am I right now in my focus attention? I'm here. Is baat ko kehne se pehle wo maine socha bhi nahi tha because I knew ki main 11 baje un vishayon pe sochna shuru karunga. I told my mind that at 11 o'clock I'll think about what I need to speak in the next meeting. And for this event also, I made a few mental notes and then I just kept it there. Period. The point I'm trying to say is, jis samay aap jo kam kar rahe ho, kya us samay aap pura woh kam kar sakte ho? If you are able to do that, then you will be able to achieve a lot in your day. And that's not multitasking. That's a battery of lot of work. Huh? You priority. See, one is priority. Second is, again, at the cost of repetition, I must say that. Jis vakt aap jo kar rahe ho, us vakt aap sirf vahi karna. And if you do that, your mind will not be overburdened. You'll be much more impactful. You'll be much more exuberant because you know you've done full justice to this samay that you gave to something. In this room right now, let's have 50, 60 friends we are sitting. I can assure you most, not most, half of us are not here right now. Sure. We've gone somewhere else. Right? Now, you've done your time too bad. You're thinking something which you should have thought about at 11 o'clock. <laughs> yeah. So, you've lost that and you've lost this also. This is what we're doing in life. This is called dissipation of energy. You're dissipating your energies. You're not utilizing your energies. That's the whole yogic science. Yeah. Very fortunate to <laughs> see you and uh, Thank you. listen to you in Thank the person. Thank you so much. Thank for you very thoughts. much. Uh, sure. जब आप लाइफ में उधर देखते हो सॉल्यूशन इधर से आ जाता है सो बी वेरी वॉचफुल सो सो यू टॉक्ड अबाउट द पर्पस ऑफ लाइफ यू टॉक टू वन सीनियर लीडर इन इंडस्ट्री एंड यू सेड दैट ही हैड अ फॉल्स इंप्रेशन ऑफ व्हाट्स द पर्पस ऑफ लाइफ एंड यू सेड द पर्पस ऑफ बिजनेस शुड लार्जली बी टू एनरिच लाइफ एनहांस द क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ बट दे हैव बीन बिजनेसेस हु हैव डन रियली गुड आई मीन दे हैव बीन यू नो लीडर्स व्हेन दे वर एट द पीक ऑफ द टाइम्स बट येट दे डिडंट सरवाइव and they they had been enriching you know lives they had been catering to customers beautifully so what happened to them no i didn't understand the question so what uh, matlab they were you're saying they had a purpose they had a purpose they were doing the purpose, good yeah they were going good but they still didn't survive they still didn't survive okay. yes okay okay ye bada mahatvapurna prashn hai aur iska uttar main bahut hi uh, hard spiritual dimension mein dunga aapko बिकॉज इसका उत्तर वही हो सकता है मेरे देखे वन ऑफ द कोर बुद्धिस्ट फिलोसफी एंड वन ऑफ द कोर वेदांतिक फिलोसफी द कोर द बेस द फंडामेंटल ऑफ दैट इज अनित्य विच मीन्स नथिंग इज परमानेंट नो मैटर वट यू डू नथिंग इज परमानेंट एवरीथिंग यूल बिल्ड विल कलेप्स दैट्स द लॉ ऑफ लाइफ इफ यू चेजिंग परमानेंसी इन लाइफ you're at the wrong place. Then come to the Himalayas. I'll teach you how to make things permanent. <laughs> but in the world, there's nothing permanent. That's the nature of life. This Guru Nanak has said very beautifully, so whatever has taken birth will die. And that includes business, chair, table, everything. Right? So no matter you make a business, it'll survive 100, 200, 300 years. Then it'll collapse. That's the nature of life. So don't do that chase it. Uh, British Empire thought the sun and the British Raj will never set. It did set to the extent that Rishi Sunak is heading that. <laughs> yeah? So nothing is permanent here. So systems will be made, system will collapse. That's how life is. We call it a circle. Loop. Yeah? With that, thank you very much for your patient listening, for your attentive listening. Thank you. Thank you.